Well, there was Gretchen Walsh for UVA as we get ready for the 100-yard freestyle national championship. Simone Manuel's NCAA record still holding six years hence. And Walsh is the defending champ. And now the lane assignments. Here is Catherine Zenick of Ohio State. She was in the championship final in the 100 fly, finishing eighth. Tori Husk of Stanford, the Pac-12 champ, and the runner-up in the 200 IM earlier in this meet. There's Maggie McNeil, who claimed the first swimming national title in LSU history earlier in the meet, winning the 50 free. And she'll have to run down Gretchen Walsh, the defending champion. And already won national championship under her belt in Knoxville in the 100 back. In lane five, Gabby Albiero of Louisville, fifth fastest time in the country at 46.95. Catherine Burkhoff in sixth for NC State, third in this event in the championship last year. Louisville's Christiana Regenauer dropped about two tenths of a second from the ACC's to prelims and finds herself in the A final. And how about the University of Hawaii? Leticia Transom, a transfer from USC, grabs a lane here in the championship final. She was in the final two years ago with USC. And there's Maggie McNeil, Rowdy Gaines. It's McNeil against Walsh one more time. Uh, it, it comes down to the start for Gretchen Walsh. She's got to find a way to get off the blocks a little bit quicker. I still think she can win it with a poor start, but she is slow off the blocks. Watch her right there. It's her reaction time. You see that? 0.74, a little bit better than this morning. She was 0.78, but still much slower than anybody else in the field. But boy, oh boy. She doesn't take long to get going. Look at the speed early on for Gretchen Walsh. The record split right there is going to be 21.9. 21-7, she's 21-7 going out. Buckle up, Walsh in the clear. That's Simone Manuel that went 21-9 going out for 45 plus. The record's 45-56, Gretchen Walsh is gonna win it, can she break the record? Here comes Walsh, final strokes, NCAA mark in her future. No! Missed by a five one hundreds. 45-61, and Manuel standard remains. But Gretchen Walsh defends her national championship in the 100-yard free with a dominating performance. Wow. Husk the runner-up, Maggie McNeil third. Oh, my goodness. She was 21-7 on the feet. That, on the feet, my man. Watch. Again, there she is. Watch when she comes off. Very slow off the block. It's not so much what happens once she enters the water. She's fine when she gets those underwaters going. But it's just that reaction of getting off the block and exploding. But look at that. Look at the line she has coming off the wall. And then just pops up. And look at that great reach out in front. Winding those arms up. So close. 45-61. Again, I'll say it again. 21-7 on the feet. Might not mean much to people. The feet, on the feet she would have finaled in the 50 freestyle. That's how fast that young woman is. Right. Unbelievable. She won the national championship last year by 73 hundreds. She wins it this year by 85 hundreds over Tori Husk and Meg McNeil almost a second behind. And five swimmers under 47. Just another phenomenal performance by the Virginia Cavaliers and Gretchen Walsh, who just as a sophomore she was the runner-up in the ACC's because Kate Douglas swam in it. She's a two-time national champion now for Virginia. Gretchen, you defend your title in a time that is pretty unbelievable. How did this shape up to your expectations coming into the meet tonight? Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I didn't expect to do this. My goal was just to break 46, and I'm just so happy I got my hand on the wall first and couldn't be more pleased with that time. So. When you come into a race like the Hunter Freestyle that is so pressure packed and intense, how are you able to kind of balance excitement and nerves before the race? I love like talking to the girls in the ready room before. It keeps me really relaxed and just like focusing on the team aspect of everything, like keeps me out of my head and getting nervous about like messing up or anything. So yeah. Well, congratulations on another win this weekend, Gretchen. Incredible swim. Thank you, Elizabeth.